Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize a DV product page with inline dynamic content. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing I need to do in this tutorial is to add a product. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. And by the way, I'm using WooCommerce. WooCommerce is free, so you can go and download that plugin and install it. All right, so my product here is going to be hoodie with zipper, but of course it can be it can be anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. So this is what I'm using in this example. All right, so now that I've added my uh, title there, I can now add my description. So I'm just gonna paste some um, lorem text here. And then I also need to add my pricing and I'm gonna say 35. And in fact, you know what? Let's set it to 45. And then our sale price is going to be 35. So I'm just going to hit publish and now we're going to take a look at the product. Oh, in fact, you know what? Before I take a look at the product, I also need to add the product image. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to product image. And let me see if I have a hoodie here. Actually, no. So I'm going to go to my computer and find an image. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And let's go with this one here. I'm going to click set product image. Click on update. And now I'm going to click on view product. So there we go. So we have our product here. We have our pricing and we have our button here, add to cart and so on. So what we need to do now is to go in and activate our visual builder. So I'm going to click here on enable visual builder. So this is going to allow me to go into this page now and make some further adjustments. So this is our basic page that we've just created. So the next thing I need to do now is to enable the visual builder. So I'm going to click enable visual builder. And then I'm gonna add an extra module here. So the module needs to just come just after my description here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and the module I need to add is a toggle. So I'm gonna select it. So over here now on the title, we are going to add a dynamic title. So I'm gonna click here on dynamic content and then I'm gonna choose product title. So it's all the way here at the top. I'm gonna to select that. And you can see here it has added hoodie with zipper. So next, I'm going to come over here on the, um, the description. So I'm going to click here on the dynamic content as well. And for this, I'm also going to choose for, I'm going to choose product description. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So this now is going to automatically bring all my content in here. So if I click here, you can see now that we have the product description. Now, let me show you how you can adjust this title by coming over here to this gear icon. So on the before text, let's add this text here. And then on the after, we're just going to add an exclamation mark. So now dynamically, you can see that it's going to say, you're going to love this. And then it's, and then it gives the, the name, which is the hoodie with zipper, and then the exclamation mark. So I'm gonna save this. Now, what is cool with this is you can also go in and uh, stylize this. So let's add a background here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and add my background. And as you can see, now that we have a really dark background, we need to adjust our foreground colors. So I'm going to come over here, click on this brush tool. So this is going to take me straight to my colors. So here I'm going to add my color like that. And I'm also going to change the uh, font weight. So let's make this bold. And you know what? For the body color to stand out, we also need to change the color of this. So let's add white. So I'm going to paste my color in here. And now you can see that it's much easier to read. So I'm going to save that. So now that we have this, we don't need this description here. So let's delete that. And now we have a custom description there. So we can toggle it around, so we can do that. And now it shows the description. And what you could also do here, you could change the color of the title. So let's go back over here. So the text color here, you can change it to, you can change that bright orange if you want to, when the item is closed. So you can see now it's much easier to read. Right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to add a contact form on this page. So I'm gonna click here on single column and search for contact form. So we are going to use the same 
technique that we've used here to add our dynamic text on our form. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to add a title of the contact form. So I'm just gonna save this. And then over here, I'm just gonna add the text module and then save. Now I'm gonna go into my form. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So over here, you can see we have space for title. So I can also click here on use dynamic content and go to our products title. So now you can see we have it right there on the top. So now we can go into this gear icon and add our before text. Now make sure you add a space after it because that uh, makes it easier to read. So I've just added my space there. Now you also need to add uh, the after. So the after text is just going to have a question mark and give us a shout. So if you read the whole sentence now, you can see it says, have a question about the hoodie with zipper, question mark, give us a shout. Again, let's stylize this. Let's first of all save, and then we're gonna come over here to the background, add our background color. Now we're gonna to go to design text. So we're gonna start here with the main heading text, and we're going to change the color here to white. So I know I've used white before, so I'm gonna select it here, change this from regular to bold, or even semi-bold. Now the size here, you can reduce the size a little bit if you need to. So I'm gonna reduce it down to about um, 22, and then I'm also going to go over here to my line height and set this to 1.3. And now, as you can see, our design here doesn't look great because our background and our form is pretty much flash on the side. So we need to give this some breathing space. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm gonna add padding all around of 3%. So that's top bottom and I also need to add left and right. So now you have a contact form with a custom title with inline dynamic content that improves the call to action by adding the product title within the title. So now we can save this. All right, so in this next example, we're going to um, make our custom price here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and add a text module. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Now over here, what we're gonna do is we are going to add our dynamic and we're going to choose our price, our product price. So I'm just gonna search for it here. And there it is, product price. So as you can see, this is going to show just the product price. So what we can do now is we can add our text before and after. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and show you how to do that. So instead of leaving it, uh, leaving it plain like that, we can add this before and add a space. And then on the after, here's one, one really cool thing. We can add the plus free shipping. If of course you provide uh, free shipping. So I'm gonna add my text on there. And now you can see it has the price plus free shipping. So now we can save this. And you can also go in and stylize this the way you want. So I'm gonna save this one here. And then I'm just going to delete this one because this one looks much better. Now, as I mentioned, you can go in here and uh, make your customizations to the colors and uh, the design and pretty much everything that you need to do here. Just by going over here to the colors, and change your colors, sizes, and so on. All right, so now I'm just gonna exit the Visual Builder and save and exit. So this is our final design. So you can see here we have our contact form, which has a custom message. And over here as well, we have the description. And if we click here, it shows the full description of the product. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.